expect there's a non Wago right there, but this time it's at the Bronx. I just picked that up on uh, uh, Staten Island, it's just about um, last week. Yep. And as you can see, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things I want to talk about, but what, welcome to the most busted YouTube channel in history. Welcome to my TV at the Bronx. I hate there to go to um, Brown Bay Park. No, not Brown Bay Park. Orchard Beach. So, so I can do a little train that's supposed to be doing. So, okay, so, I don't know how it's happening. So, it used to be waiting all the time. So, I went to our starting out one time, and this is a rainbow came out of nowhere. And it appeared when it found me, I was like, oh, shit, I got a ticket. So earlier, when I came from that station right there, as soon as I, um, I got out of here, this rainbow right there, I guess that means that uh, the rainbow is telling me something. Uh, that uh, that there's a hope. I think I think that means something. But I, I gotta go see it for myself. So we gotta head to the beach. I'm gonna do some uh, uh do some cardio. But oh yeah, speaking of which, so yesterday I burnt out. I, I don't know if I told you yesterday, but oh, okay. I thought I thought it was the uh, bus. So, oh yeah, I got burnt out, so so I left work uh, as early as I can to get some rest, so, cause I don't have enough energy, and and, and I feel like that I might pass out uh, as soon as I, uh, as soon as I um, uh, got on the train, so, but, but right now, I'm okay right now, cause, cause, cause there's a lot of strange things that I want to do, um, cause, uh, cause the one thing I, I didn't tell you about this, cause, cause I had something that I don't want to show you just yet. And, and furthermore, cause the more I work, uh, if I push it too hard, then I might get tired. And then, and then at the end of the day, I had no energy left to, uh, to continue working and stuff, so they sent me home. To uh, get get uh, get more energy uh, like that, so so yeah. All right, so we're hit we're heading there. Let's watch this joint. No, man, it's the way over there. It looks like nobody's at the beach. Did that actually close the hour before before uh during time? It says the operating hours. It says the operating hours is six to eight. So I don't know if uh, if I will be uh, into here or not, but oh wait a sec, I just realized. Yeah, the sand saw soaked up. I don't know if I can take a rest. Oh yeah, I just realized. Shut up! Hey, 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 hey! hey. I I'm talking, yeah, please, please. Okay, so I just realized something because uh, the reason why the uh, the beaches aren't empty out because it's way earlier. I didn't know because of the clouds was up there, I uh, saw it off. But according to this, oh my god, these seagulls trying to take a spotlight. If they're taking a spotlight right there, I'm gonna put, put it on film. But damn. So, so right now, I guess, I guess I have to come back another time because due to the rain, I won't be able to uh, do uh, do some special moves, I promise. Oh, oh what a waste. But, but this gotta be another one. I hope it's not way on uh, Wednesday, but if it does, I, I'm gonna be real tight. Oh, so, anyway, should I be able to do this? But, no, no, I can't, because if, if I do this, but even if I put the blanket uh, on the sand right there, even if it's wet, it's, it's gonna soak up the blanket. So. I Man, I can't do that. I gotta, I gotta wait till, uh, till it's hot, humid, and stuff. So, yeah, I, you know what? I, I think I gotta come back to uh, another time because I, I, I came at the wrong time. It's way earlier. I should have noticed this was happening. And uh, at least the rainbow is just taking the spotlight. Oh, 
this is the second week that I had to come to a beach for a reason because I had to make a phone call to the 3D superstars. But I don't know if you, if you don't believe me, but uh, your love is should be fun. So, so anyway, oh my god, seagulls. Okay, so uh, I don't know, but so this this is the training purposes. So, uh, alright, so it's not real, the phone call is not real, so. Did I just saw a lightning? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I don't know why I just saw it down there, but so I saw a lightning just short way, way across there. Uh, you know what that uh, small, uh, small thing? Not the word to say it. If you move to a little left, uh, I mean, a little right right there, about way right here, um, it kind of looked like, um, like there, the lightning just shoots there. I, I, I don't believe what I just saw, but it was shocking. Yo. That, that caught me off guard right there because I was like, what the hell? And I thought the, the fuck? I thought the lightning just, I just thought the way it away because it's dark clouds. Or maybe it shoots out of nowhere because, um, because, um, the, the storm is already happening, but we don't know. But anyway, uh, alright, so, alright, so what would I say before I was really interrupted by lightning? Okay, this, this, uh, this is going to be a fake phone call. Um, so it's made up, so... I'm gonna make a phone call, so uh, if you love this, you better get that thumbs up and subscribe ready because it's about to go down. Let's rock this joint! Hello? What's up? Oh, uh, hey, Billy. Um, it's me. You really just call me Billy? No, no, I'm sorry. It's like Bailey, Bailey. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. What are you still doing hanging around here? Uh, I'm at the beach, and and because I can't go to a uh, beach, it, it was raining. You went to the beach on a rainy day? You know how stupid that is, right? It's like you've never been to a beach or something. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know something? Hold on, just one moment. Uh, the reason why uh, I can't go to a beach because it's raining, because I'm supposed to be uh, doing the cardio. Cardio? At the beach? You're training? Yes. You're training at the beach in the rain? Do you know how insane that sounds? You're going to get yourself sick or something? Well, you're right about that. Uh, but let me tell you something. Uh, as soon as it's hot out there, uh, I will do a cardio at the beach. No wings. Okay, okay. I think I get it. You were doing your cardio run at the beach. And you saw a hut where my house is. Is that it? Is that what you meant? What? No, 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 no. Um, I'm not at your area. I'm in my area in New York. Then why are you telling me where you are? Who cares if you're in New York? You're being so odd. Bailey! You ain't gonna do me like that, Bailey? You calling me baby now, huh? <laughs> oh, oh my god. My, my bad, my bad. Bailey. Oh man, I'm so sorry to say that. Oh my gosh, don't apologize. I'm only messing with you. Tell me whatever you like. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Alright, so anyway. So, this Wednesday, I, I will come back to the beach, do some cardio, and, and I have to do my wrestling moves. Wait, wait, wait. You, you're coming back? Well, it, it's the reason I could do is to uh, come back to the beach and... I, and I gotta do some cardio to uh, help me do my weight loss. And why am I supposed to care if you do cardio, hmm? So I could become a pro wrestler. And who says you're cut out to become a pro wrestler, huh? <laughs> I am. Because that is my dream. Your dream? You think you want to become a pro wrestler just like that? I snapped my fingers to emphasis the last thing I said. Uh, I mean, well, call it if you wish, because uh, as soon as I, uh, I done the cardio, do some weight loss, as soon as I get in way to become a professional wrestler, I will become a third day champion one day. You want to be the next Dusty Rhodes, eh? I'm actually a huge fan of him, so hearing someone so young say that surprises me. You want to become the next Dusty Rhodes? You want to become a legendary pro wrestler like him? 
I mean, I'm a huge fan of Dusty Rhodes and Cody Rhodes as well. I mean, I probably miss Dusty Rhodes. I am shocked and slightly impressed at you knowing so much about Dusty and Cody. It's clear you know your stuff. I can't help but smile at you. All right, looks like you take this very seriously. So you really want to become a pro wrestling legend? Yes, ma'am. All right then, kid. If you want to become a pro wrestling legend, I'll have to ask you one simple question. Okay, uh, ask me a, a question. I straighten my pose. You want to become a pro wrestling legend, huh? You want to do everything Dusty did. Do you really think you have what it takes? My question feels a bit like a challenge, and I can already imagine exactly what you're you're going to say in response. Yes, I am. I want to be the very best that nobody can ever uh, think about. Despite how amused I am, I'm impressed by your confidence. You're only so young, yet somehow you're so confident. I feel like I need to test you a bit. How old are you, kid? I'm 30, 31 years old. What? Did I hear you right? You're 31? Seriously? Uh, yes. And I want to start uh, a, a little younger, uh, like 15 or 20 and stuff. Um, I'm stuck in the high school uh, because of it. So, so here I am. Uh, I want to train to become a pro wrestler at my age of mid 30s. My mind's starting to think about how someone your age can look so good. But I quickly shake the thoughts away as I try to remain professional. Damn, mid 30s is a bit old. And you really think you can become a pro wrestler even though you're already 31? Well, yes. I mean, well. Uh, age doesn't, doesn't mean anything to me because uh, as long as I'm still fighting, I, I, I will become a wrestler. Whether the people out there are like it or not, I, I can still wrestle. can't help but smirk at your determination again. I really can't tell if you are being completely serious or not, but you're doing a damn good job at convincing me you are serious. It's been a long time since someone has been so passionate in front of me that I'm honestly pretty impressed, but I feign a look of thought before speaking. So you want me, Bailey, to personally train you to become a pro wrestler? You think I'm going to teach some brat newbie all my pro moves? Well, uh, if if I if I underestimate you, then you can prove me wrong. But now it's my turn to prove you wrong. So you you're trying to challenge me, kid, to prove me wrong and to show me that you are worth my time. I raise an eyebrow at you, looking a little impressed with how you continue to talk with an air of confidence to you. I can't see anything that puts me off about you. I'm really enjoying myself. Well, uh, if you want an exhibition match, uh, I say go for it. We can find the referee and and we can have uh, have a one-on-one -on -one match. An exhibition match? Just between us, out here at the beach. You think you could take me, huh? I eye you up and down again, taking in your body. You're clearly in shape and have some muscle, but I still think to myself how I can take you easily. Well, I, I can accept your challenge. So, are you up for the challenge? I can already imagine exactly how this would play out, and I am not really expecting you to hold your own against me. All right, then. I accept your challenge, kid. Let's see what you got. Okay, so I, I scheduled my appointment um, to to meet up at the beach and and, and then and then we leave. An appointment? What do you mean about that? Well, let's just say uh, we'll we'll make a schedule so so I can uh, bring my wrestling gear. Uh, we meet at the beach and we get away and and then and then we have an action mismatch and the audience will go crazy. You want to wear your wrestling gear, huh? You got a pair of trunks? You got a wrestling boots? Oh, yeah. I, I have everything, uh, except for my t-shirt. So you got everything then, huh? Even boots and all? I can't help but start to imagine you wrestling for me in those tight trunks, aching and sweating as you try to do your moves against me. Well, well, uh, at, least, at least I can take it easy on you, uh, just because you're a woman. Take it easy on me, huh? Just because I'm a woman, I've heard of this from people before that I can't do certain things just because I'm a woman. 
and I hate it. You think I'm weak because I'm a woman? You think me being a girl is going to stop me from beating your ass? <laughs> Oh no, no! I'm not saying that you're weak. Uh, I'm just saying that uh, that we're, we're gonna we're gonna sell it um uh one on one style. Uh, no injuries, no hurts. Um, uh, just an exhibition. No injuries, no hurts, kid. Wrestling doesn't work like that. Sure, we can have no injuries, but you're gonna get hurt, especially against me. I'm starting to get excited at the thought of showing you who is stronger. Oh man, I, I'm I'm afraid of you. <laughs> I'm afraid of you this time. Are you afraid of me now? Are you starting to chicken out already? Oh, yeah. oh I want to thank you guys for listening. Uh, I'm watching right there because uh, this is an artificial intelligence calling, so it's it's, it's not really very because. Uh, the, the artificial intelligence is uh, it's voice as baby, so uh, you, pro you probably guys don't, don't know what, uh, what it means. So, but if it, if it is really baby, then you probably will be. So, anyway, I gotta I got get, uh, get out of here. We can uh, try to wait for a special to arrive, but I'm not going to open it because my number one is coming up tonight. So, if you're new around here, make sure you hit subscribe, thumbs up, tap the bell, turn on notifications, and I will catch you guys on the road. I gotta shake this video because I missed a part, but that, that's not my problem.